welcome to this new Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Today I'm going to teach you the five different ways to say no. Let's begin with the basic one, the modern standard Arabic normal way to say no, which is la. Easy. Letters L and A. La. 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 The second one is like the spoken one, or the one that I, as an Arab, would use with my mom instead of using the standard one, la. I would say, or we Arabs would, in the spoken Arabic, say, la, la. Just making this glottal stop at the ending, la. Try it with me, instead of la, making it like long, elongated, and open, la. No, 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 say la, la. It's even more severe and, and um, strict. La. La. The third way to say no in Arabic is simply saying inshallah. 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 I think you know it by now. It's like one of the mostly repeated Arabic expressions by Arabs uh, ever. Inshallah. I'm sure you've heard of it. I also explained it especially like um, in detail in one of my lessons. Click here to go to this explanation. But for the sake of this, of not making this uh, video too long, inshallah, it's made out of three words. I'm gonna tell it, tell you uh, the meaning like uh, in, in short. In it means if, sha, it's a verb which means uh, wills or wants or desires, and Allah is God. So if God wants or if God wills. Usually, inshallah, it means uh, hopefully, like, inshallah, I will travel to uh, Spain one day. Inshallah, I'll pass the exam. Inshallah, it's a re like a wish to say, inshallah, if God wills, I'm going to do it. Insh it's super, super used. Huh? If God wants, we rely on God a lot. It's like, it means, literally, it means hopefully. Hmm? Or if God wants, hopefully, this thing will, will happen. Now, why am I including this inshallah in the video of, of four ways to say no? Because it's a fantastic, polite way to decline an offer or to say no to an invitation. Simply say no by saying, Inshallah, if God wills, I'll do it. But if God wills, not if I <laughs> will or want or desire. Okay? So it's really, really so much used and known by all, all Arabs. You can um, diplomatically say, Inshallah. Oh, will you come and visit me Bukra tomorrow? Inshallah, inshallah. So, but if you're saying inshallah, you're not meaning it. <laughs> you're just meaning if God wills. And remember, if an Arab tells you inshallah for something, 50% of times he's not gonna show up or not gonna do it because he's relying on Allah. Um, we do rely on Allah a lot, but if we use the, we sometimes like uh, overuse this expression into the negative meaning you know, and not in the real meaning which means I hopefully uh, or I hope that this thing will happen okay so beware of that tricky inshallah and get the meaning from the way or the like uh, intonation of the person who's saying it if he's saying ah oh, inshallah inshallah <laughs> sure he's not doing it inshallah inshallah you will uh, succeed in the exam then yeah it's a wish it's um I'm hoping or I'm, I'm wishing you good luck in the exam okay Another way to say no is inshallah. The last way to say no in Arabic, it's by far the most unacceptable word that my husband receives from me. He hates it uh, and he feels that it's not polite. It's, uh, um, really that's disrespectful from my side to tell him no in that matter that I'm going to teach you now. So I don't know if it's offensive, but we're used to do it. And this is how we, many of us say no. Uh, would you want a slice of pizza? My husband would ask me. And I would simply tell him or do this thing. I would do, this is the way to say no. It's if you want to uh, like write it, it's a TS, you and a glottal stop. <laughs> I don't know if other languages do some kind. I, I'm, I'm really curious to know how you would like the strange ways to say no uh, in Arabic. Um, in your sorry, in your languages. Please let me know in the comment below. Uh, I'm, because I really I'm so curious why this. And maybe like not only I would like lift my shoulder. <laughs> he hates it. 
and we don't find it um, like uh, impolite or disrespectful or sometimes people say no even just by lifting their uh, eyebrows I can't do it the <laughs> by the way it's also a way of saying hi in some Arab countries <laughs> you're too lazy to say hi you're dropping <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do another video about it. But anyways, I don't know, is it laziness of Arabs to start saying la, shukran, no thank you, just simply. But it's very much used by most of us, huh? In most of the Arab countries. If you have, by the way, something similar to this in your own uh, dialect or language, please share it with us below. Write it in a comment. I'm so curious to know also where this came from and why is it so disrespectful. <laughs> Okay, now these are, this is the end of this uh, lesson, I hope you liked it, if you like this kind of lesson, uh, leave a comment below, share this lesson with your friends and family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, there are a, be a lot of beautiful uh, uh, language and culture videos and recipe le uh, lessons also on my channel, we're over 400 videos now and still um, a lot of content coming your way. Mm, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Mahayakoop where I update on a daily basis a lot of things and I quiz you with a lot of Arabic new words on a daily basis and also I have a page on Facebook like it it's uh, at learn Arabic with Maha we're over 100,000 people there also it's a blessing thank you I hope you liked this lesson I will see you in a following Arabic lesson with me Maha kiss you and ma'asalama learn Arabic with Maha